Hey, so it's Bio. I'm here today to talk about Zoe and VS Code, show you some tips and tricks about it. So the first thing we are going to see is how to create a profile inside of the VS Code. So here is the Zoe Explorer. Uh, if we come here on the plus sign, you have the option to create a new connection to ZOS. So the first thing, a connection name. So how we are going to connect to identify this connection to URL part. Then you insert uh, the ZOSMF URL. So for which ZOSMF you are going to talk and you are going to connect. So it's the address and the port. The next thing is the username for your connect. So which username you are going to authenticate on the old part. It's going to ask you the password. and if you want to accept self-signed certificates or not there we go so now that we have the profile let's see how to use the explorer here on the sidebar we have our explorer so the views for datasets uss and jobs when i uh, have, when I go to a profile here, I have the option to create a data set. So I'm creating a partition data set here. This brings to me uh, the PDF that I just created. And I can also create a member here from the Zoo Explorer. So I will pass here the name of my member. So you can see here that the VS Code had completed for me the code. So I'm using here some snippets. So once I type the job, uh, it brought all the template and pointed me where I should be editing. And that helps a lot when I have to create something from scratch. So you see that I start type and it brings for me the step that I want. I just change the name point the cluster that I'm creating I have options so I don't have to remember all the options available here All the snippets that I'm using here while I'm creating this JCL, they are available with IBM Z Open Editor. So when you install that, you're gonna have it also. Okay, so almost read. So I have now my job completed. I'm saving the data sets uploaded. Uh, if I came here and come here and right click submit job, uh, the VS Code creates the link for me. I can uh, directly from that view my job. So I see here the job that is executed, completion code zero, uh, all the parts of this job that are on the spool. I can just view them here from my VS Code. Okay, let's take a look on tips and tricks now. So some cool things you can do with the VS Code that will help you a lot. Okay, on the main screen you have here some uh, tips already about the shortcuts. So I'm going to start with Command P. These are the shortcuts for Mac. You can check your own. 
and with command P I can navigate through the files I have here on my machine. With command B I open the a sidebar. So here I have uh, the outline for my code that helps me uh, to see uh, all the structure of this code. You see that when I'm starting to edit this COBOL, I have some options here that will highlight the variables and where this is uh, defined. So if I select it and then I right click, I have here peak and peak definition. And a bigger program that will be really useful so you don't need to change where you are to see where this variable were defined. When you select this variable with the command D, it goes to the next and select also, so one by one. And then if I just start typing, that will change that. I can also select all at the same time with command shift L. And you see, as I start type, that change everything here in the outline. So this is a simple program that, but imagine in a bigger one, Here I have the GCL we just created from a copy of them. You see, if with the shift option, press it, I can select a block of my command. And then I can just cut that or paste some content inside and it will respect uh, the structure. With command shift P, I open a command input here. So I can, for example, issue a command through the Zoe. I select here the profile. I can type what I want to issue. It has history. And once I issue a command, it brings in the output area uh, the results of my command. So if I'm working something here on the VS Code, I can just interact with the LPAR, send MVS comments and everything from the same screen. That's for me very useful. Again on addition. So if I press shift option and the direction, I can move this block of comments. I can uh, replicate this block of comments. And if I have a selection and just use the option and the direction, I move that around. And that's it. Here were some of uh, tips and tricks that are very useful and hope that you like that.